We are in Persephone, New Jersey, and with us now is Ann Kush, and we are at this amazing restaurant. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for having me. So on the um, sign, it says a certain thing, like buy Daba. Yes. Okay. What does that mean? Explain to us that. So Daba is our flagship brand. It's located in uh, Manhattan, New York, and that was uh, one of the most popular restaurants. Uh, for Indian dining in New York City. And so what we decided to do is uh, keep our flagship to all our future locations. And uh, so then we opened this, which is Jashan by Daba, which means celebration. And Daba means roadside cafe, so it's a celebration at a roadside cafe. This was your sixth location, and now you have a total of nine? Ninth one is opening soon. Okay, now tell us about the ninth one that's gonna be opening. Yes, so it's a Lizzie's by Daba. It means, uh, Lizzie's means tasty, and it's an Indian fusion street food concept. We're gonna, ha it's very different from all our other locations. We're gonna have a t touch of American, Italian, Mexican, Chinese fused with Indian food. Lovely, I know you love to travel, and I love to travel. Have you been to India before? Uh, I was born in India. Okay. And then I've been back a few times after. One of the things that we were talking about too in the culture is that we're here and there is a lot of celebrations that happen around the culture. Colorful, beautiful, wardrobe, food, it's all kind of blended together. Tell us about the catering experience that someone might be able to participate in from your company. Oh, definitely. So uh, recently we started a catering division with Jushin Caterers. And essentially what we do is we cater for weddings, birthdays, sweet 16s. And when it comes to weddings, Indian weddings, like you said, they're full of color, they're full of music, dance. And we try to infuse the celebration with live stations, uh, pass arounds and uh, give people a touch of the authentic food with uh, to incorporate in their celebration. I'm almost afraid to ask you what are some of your favorite menu items and I know later you're going to be dining on something um, but what are some of the things that you personally enjoy? So I love uh, items from the tandoor. The tandoor is the clay oven and um, it basically it's uh, kind of like barbecue chicken and um, we have lamb, chicken, uh, shrimp that we put in the tandoor in different marinations. So I love tandoor cooked food. Um, and the curries and the gravies, I mean, there's so much variety and that's what I love about Indian food. Uh, every day you can try something different and uh, you know, you'll never get enough of it. I have to agree, you'll never get enough of it. It, it always is tasty. And um, you also don't leave hungry afterwards. It's very like, I don't know, like, warm, cozy, it just feels like a hug, right? Then to, <laughs> to me, it's like, you know, it's warm as you, up your insides, you just feel joyful. Um, when we are going to be dining on something in a little while, you were telling me it stands, is it drunken lamb? But how do you, what's the actual name of it? We call it shirabi lamb chops, okay. which is essentially drunken lamb chops. It's a tandoor marinated lamb chops that we uh, put, we flambe in a, uh, house wine. Okay, so and then it kind of gives a great presentation. What is one of your favorite memories that you saw celebrated here in this location? Uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Diwali, which is like our Christmas. Um, you know, it's so, so joyful and you know, it's busy and we get to celebrate uh, people's private occasions as well as, you know, just in individuals coming in to dine in. And, um, you know, it's, it's really fun to see the place packed and uh, people celebrating with their families. Speaking of families, um, you are partners uh, with your father, um, but you weren't always restaurateurs. That's so great. I thought that that was a great, so your dad was an entrepreneur. Yes. Um, and then you became an attorney. Yep. And then how did you end up owning this wonderful group of restaurants? So, uh, you know, I always wanted to be involved in restaurants. My, you know, we're foodies, we're a foodie family. And I think uh, we had an opportunity where we could get involved with a group in New York City, where we started off with four. And uh, from four, we've grown it to now nine locations and want to see where we can take this further. Congratulations. Um, is your dad happy about that too? Oh, he loves it. He loves being a restaurateur. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> and you also are able to bring in chefs from all over the world, right? The best of the best. I said, it's kind of like what you've done is you've created your own ball team, yeah. right? Yeah. Where you go out and you find special talent. Oh, definitely. So tell us about some of the chefs that are in your, I guess your portfolio of your family, I guess. <laughs> yes. 
Um, so we have chefs from all over India and what's great about Indian food is that there's so many regions and the cuisine is so different whether you're in the north, the south, uh, so we have chefs from uh, UP, from Delhi, from uh, South India and uh, all of them have worked at some of the best hotel chains in India like ITC, Radisson Group, Hilton Group, Sheraton and all of that and uh, you know we brought them here to really give the authentic touch to the food. Excellent. And on another trip, uh, you're going to be bringing me to uh, walk in the clouds, yes. right? I'm <laughs> looking forward to that too. And what will we be sharing today? Uh, so today we're going to be having uh, shirabi lamb chops, which is uh, the tandoori lamb chops flambéed. Then we're going to have some gravy dishes, which include Purani Dili butter chicken. Everyone's had butter chicken, uh, but <laughs> this is the authentic bone-in version of it. Okay. Uh, we have a spinach uh, sham savera kofta which is essentially a korma sauce, a nut sauce with uh, uh, patties of spinach with cheese and nuts inside. And uh, in addition to that, we have uh, another grilled dish, which is our mixed meat platter. We call it the Baremia Peshkash. We are, we're also going to be featuring a lamb rogan josh, which is an authentic Indian dish, as well as agpuri paneer, which is uh, paneer cheese. It's similar to cottage cheese and it's stuffed with nuts and uh, cheese and side cheese basically, so cheese on cheese. Why do you think the um, culture from India is so vibrant? Like what, what is it about that that, you know, because all the names of the food sound exciting, all the <laughs> ingredients sound exciting. Is it just the heritage? Is it just how I, it is? I think it's the culture, it's the heritage. I mean, like I said, India is so diverse. There's so many languages, there's so many regionalities and because of that, there's so much variety in the food and it, it allows us to experiment and try dishes from all over the country and, um, you know, try to engage the audience. And there's a reason that they call New York the melting pot, right? There's a reason that our region is like that. Okay. We're so lucky uh, to be living here in America to have all of that greatness here. So thank you for inviting us to your home and looking forward to visiting other locations. But today we shall dine here. Join us. <laughs>